Welcome to the wrestling show. Everyone, thanks for tuning in to the show and every day, every day and every other day. And thank you for letting me be part of your day. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel for more epic and dedicated, awesome, prolific wrestling news on the Wrestling Talk Show. Let's get this show started. Monday Night Raw, CM Punk would kick it off. And CM Punk says, you know, what's been going on? He's like, I'm unpredictable. And, you know, you don't know. And he's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And it's a proven fact. I mean, look what CM Punk does. You don't know what he's going to do. You don't know what CM Punk's going to do every single week on Monday Night Raw. And that's what I love about CM Punk. He could, you never know what he's going to do. Like, it's like, like, what is he going to do? You don't know. See, this is what, I love CM Punk. He's one of my favorite wrestlers in the new era of wrestling. One of my favorites of all time in the new era of wrestling. Not the, like, the old school, but the new era of wrestling we have today, he's still one of my favorites. Um, and then CM Punk says, I get jumped from right back in Curtis Axel last week, he says. And then I could have, and then I put him to sleep. It said, yeah, on Curtis Axel. So I put him to sleep, and when I get my hands on Paul Heyman, right back at Axel, it could end at Battleground when I face right back. It could end at Battleground, it could end on Monday Night Raw. He says, but it will end. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I was sneezing there. Anyways, he said it could end. And you know what? It's going to end sooner or later when this happens. When he gets his hand on, on Paul Heyman, it's going to end. And then Baddox would come out because you know he's he's like flipping out. You don't need to do this. I know I understand what you how you feel, CM Punk, what you're going through right now. And he's like, I hate when Brad Mad. I don't know why Brad Maddox is doing this. Is the thing I really don't like about it. Why is he telling, asking him? Well, if you want, you can have a match. You can have a match if you like. It's like why are you asking him on that on live television? Why do you do that? You're a jam manager. You don't ask the superstar what he wants. You tell you're a GM. You tell him you're having a you're having a match. You say, CM Punk, you got a match tonight. You don't that's what you do as a GM. You don't ask the your your worker to oh would you, would you like a match tonight? You don't do that. Come on, you don't do that on live television. You give him a match, you don't ask him for one. And then Biggie Langston will come out. And we had the first match. For the first time ever, CM Punk would face Biggie Langston. And let me tell you, man, this was a good match. Biggie Langston could be somebody in the future, but I'm going to get to a certain video on that in the from in the future about Biggie Langston because I like this guy, but I, I really want to see more of him. I want to see him wrestle more because this guy, this guy could be somebody in the future. I really do. So... Let's see how he does every week as a if he they put him in more soul and more single matches for Biggie Langston. Um and then Farm we had Fondang then we had Fondang versus Kofi. Um comes out well he said well Fandango would be CM Punk beat for Biggie Langston. Then we had Kofi Kingston versus Fandango and Kofi won the match. And the Wyatt family will come out and say, I want this night more go there's he has this little nightmare and he wants it to go away. He's like, it never will. He's like, they never did. My nightmares never went away. And Kofi was still in the ring. And we thought he was gonna get they were gonna attack Kofi, but he didn't. And then Bellows are backstage with Randy Orton. And everyone says, when is the big day for the wedding? It says they won't be able to make he won't be able to make it the wedding because he won't be able to walk. You know, so, I mean, I don't know. This feud between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton is going, I really enjoy it. I love this feud. This is one of the, my best feuds that Daniel Bryan has ever had right now in the company. And they should keep going with it. You know, I'm happy it's not ending right now because there was stuff saying it was going to end, but it didn't, thank God. So, then when A. Young said that we're talking to Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman would say, CM Punk is so obsessed with him getting his hands on me. He is obsessed with you. He's trying to get his hands on you, but you, it's not happening because you got Curse Axel and Ryback. So, it's, you know what I mean? It's not going to work. 
But it will sooner or later, though. CM Punk will get his hands on Paul Heyman. And then to be with verse loss, Matados. Matados is the new tag team group. And I'm going to do a separate video on them, on that. Okay, so look out for that sometime this week. And 3MB would lose. The new group lost. I mean, the new group won, sorry. And then 3MB lost against them. Lost. The 3MB lost against Los Matados. Then Triple H and Stephanie comes out. H says, we invite you when this is when Dusty and Cody, you know, the whole Joel family, and then Triple H and Stephanie, they're all in the ring at once. And they're talking. H says, we invite you when... We invite you. Why are you mad? We gave you an opportunity to face and beat Randy. Randy, we gave Dustin and Dusty Rhodes and tried to and try to get your son's job back when he faced Randy Orton. And then Stephanie says we have we hold the future of your son, of Cody Rhodes, in the hands. If you beat the Shield and Goldust, we'll have jobs. Well, you'll have your jobs back. So that means if the Shield if the, at Battleground this, this Sunday. Goldust and Cody Rhodes will be taking on the Shield. I mean, this is going to be awesome. And I can't wait to see that. You're going to see a separate video on that one, too. I'm going to, that was, I mean, I, I really want to see that take place. I want to see the Shield lose, but there could be a 50-50 chance. I don't know, but good luck, man. I really want you guys to win this, man. I don't really want the Shield to do that, to beat you guys. Then we have Chris Axel versus R Truth. Very good match. R Truth would come out for the win and beat Curtis Axel. I love R Truth. Then we had Brie Bella versus Alicia Fox. Brie Bella won her match. I love I love the Bellas. They're good. Axel's back. Axel and Paul Heyman are right back up backstage. They're talking, you know, about this whole stupid crap. And then Show is backstage, and Show says people tell him just take a stand. Says I can't take this no more. I'm gonna knock Triple H out. He was gonna knock Triple H out, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I love about the Big Show. He was so furious backstage. I love the Big Show. He's so awesome. Then we had Zack Ryder versus Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio would come out for the win and beat Zack Ryder. Paul Heyman right back says, backstage, he is the best in the world. Right back says, everything you did for Punk, he threw back at you. And he doesn't like bullies. So it's whatever. I, I mean, I don't care. I mean, this is, it's it's crazy what's going on between these three guys. And, oh, my God, it's unbelievable, man. Um, then CL Punk comes out and says he's going to beat up, he's at, and beat up Axel and right back. You know, they come out. Um, then Dolph Ziggler and the Usos would verse the Shield. The Shield would beat the, uh, would beat Ziggler and them. Um, then we had RVD backstage says he's the vicious and sadistic Alberto Del Rio, and he doesn't know what it's like to be a hardcore champ extreme match. He doesn't know what it's like to be in a hardcore match. And RVD, I RVD is gonna win this all the way. I'm telling you, RVD will be the new champion. Alberto won't be. Then we have Santino versus Antonio Cesaro. It was a good match. Um, and I think that's uh, oh Daniel Bryan would come out. Randy said he's very upset with age, not giving me the better says to me. The watered down Viper says about what he did to Miz, and he calls Brian, but uh, a goat face like you. Brian says Randy takes a great game. Said like you're practicing the mirror. You think he motivates you? Um, and then he says this Sunday I will take the WWE belt. Randy says what's wrong with the Bella to like you? So he's makes Randy and Al Randy was making fun of because you know Randy was the face of the company. He's like, what's wrong with the Bella to like Daniel Bryan? Oh my! Obviously, you didn't see the video, Randy Orton. And then then we had it was a good show. Like Raw has been getting really good the past few weeks, man. Like I'm really liking Raw. Like after SummerSlam this year, Raw has been getting freaking awesome. You know, I, I can't complain about it. Um, so, I mean, but, I mean, you know, Big Show didn't get to knock out Triple H. But they had security where they were going to take Big Show away. And he knocks, he puts a hole through Triple H's, um, you know, little wall posts they have on the walls, you know, in the, in the um, manager's office. 
he they had Triple H's DVD on the, the the little poster thing on the um wall, and Big Show would take it, take his fist, and put a hole through it, and there was a hole in the wall. So I don't know, man. Big Show really can't take this anymore. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed my Raw review. Don't forget to subscribe and tell this, tell everybody about my channel, please. Let's spread this word like wildfire. Let's get my name out there. I want to get noticed. So you need to tell everybody about this channel. Because I support everybody. I love you all who support me. I mean, it's just going to get better and better day by day. So I'm going to keep hustling. I'm going to keep grinding. And I'm not giving up on this. So subscribe and leave me your comments. At the um, leave me your comments and tell me how you felt about Monday Night Raw, and I will see you later. Subscribe.